Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Keith's Hot Takes on this kind of cloudy Thursday. So on today's show, I'm going to predict all 10 conference championships, and we're going to predict all 16 NFL games. So let's not waste any time. we got a lot to get into on today's show. So let's get into it. The first conference championship game I'm going to predict is UL, UAB excuse me, at Marshall for the Conference USA Championship. I'm going with Marshall here. Um, I know two weeks ago they got embarrassed against Rice. I was pretty surprised that they lost. And I just think Grant Wells, he's got to play much better, can't have five picks. And I think they should lean on their run game, uh, Brendan Knox. Um, so I'm going with Marshall here. They have great defense. And I think they want to get that bad taste out of their mouth after getting embarrassed at home, 20 to nothing. I know they can't wait to, you know, get back out there and play. So, um, yeah, I'm going go with Marshall here. The next one is the MAC championship in Detroit. Um, so we have Ball State playing Buffalo. I went with Buffalo here. Uh, Patterson, their running back, uh, they just need to feed him the ball. He got 1,000 yards in five games. That's ridiculous. I, I think we're going to see a heavy dose of him. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes over 200 yards. Um, and I'm going to go with Buffalo in that matchup. Next, we have the Pac-12. Is this, Yeah, the Pac-12. Uh, we have Oregon, who's replacing Washington, who doesn't have enough players still. They're dealing with COVID. So Oregon's the next team up in the north, and they're going to sub in for Washington. Everybody thought we were going to get Oregon and USC in the beginning. Um but, you know, Oregon had two straight bad losses to Cal and the Oregon State. I was surprised about both of those. Um, so I'm going to go with UFC, USC here. Um, they're trying to get in the college football playoffs. I don't really see that, but maybe they can get a, a big-time bowl game. Um, and, yeah, I think just coming off that big win against their crosstown rival last week, I think USC is going to try to make a statement to the committee, and I think they're going to try to get a big win. They'll be playing at home in the Coliseum. So I, I think USC is going to win this one. And, you know, they're on, undefeated right now. And I know they really want to try to make a impression on the committee. So I think they'll try to do that in this game. So, yeah, let's see what we got next. Um, next we have number 14, Northwestern, playing Ohio State and in, uh, Indianapolis for the Big Ten Championship. Uh, I'm going Ohio State here. Uh, they really, really need to make a strong impression on the committee. I can see them winning by 14 um, against Northwestern. Northwestern's tough, um, but I just think Ohio State, everybody's talking about do they deserve to get in. You know, they haven't played a lot of games. Three games got canceled because of COVID. That's out of their control. So I know a lot of people are talking down on them, but they're – Still one of the four best teams in college football. So I'm going to roll with Ohio State here. They need this win, especially since they're trying to get in the Final Four. We'll find out who makes the college football playoff Sunday, 12 o'clock. You know, they're going to prolong it. They're going to have you waiting all day. So we'll see if they get in. Um, but if they win Saturday, I definitely think they will get in. So I'm going Ohio State there. Um, next, we have Oklahoma and Iowa State. Um, they're playing in the Jones Mahal, Jerry World, AT&T Stadium. Um, so I'm going to go with Oklahoma in this matchup. Um, Iowa State beat them. Hold on, what was the score last time they played? Let me pull that up real quick. I think it was 30 to 30 to 30, 37 to 30, I should say. Let me pull that up real quick. Uh, Yeah, Iowa State beat Oklahoma 37-30. to um, So I think Oklahoma's going to want to get a little payback. You know, they didn't forget about what happened. Um, and, uh, yeah, I really don't like Iowa State being this high, especially when one of their losses was to Louisiana. And Louisiana's only loss is to Coastal Carolina, who's undefeated. And they're 9-1. and one. But Iowa State, 6-2, and two, they're getting more love. I think the committee 
kind of looks down on these group of five teams just because they're not in big conferences and stuff like that. So that really bothered me in the latest college football playoff rankings. But um, what's their running back's name? Uh, Mitchell? No, Bryce Hall, excuse me. What's his name? Bryce? Let me make sure, make sure I'm saying his name right. Yeah, Bryce Hall. He is a monster. Um, I think they're going to feed him. Oklahoma's defense is a lot better. But I wouldn't be surprised if he goes over 100 yards. He's leading college football in rushing yards. So I think they're going to get a heavy dose of him. But I'm rolling with Spencer Rattler and the Oklahoma Sooners to win another Big 12 championship. Next we have, let me scroll down so I can come on computer. Scroll down. Okay, there we go. Next, we have number 19, Louisiana, who I was just talking about, trying to get some payback against Coastal Carolina on the teal field. I don't know if y'all seen Coastal Carolina's field, but it's sweet. I'll show you a picture when I put it together. I'm rolling with Coastal Carolina here. Um, I'm all in on the Coastal Carolina train. Uh, McCall, the quarterback, I love him. Just for him to be a freshman, and to be so clutch, man, they got a they got a winner for the next. I, I think he stays off four years. So I think this program, after not really being good their first couple of years on the FBS level, this year they made a huge jump. And I'm rolling with the shot to clears here, man. Uh, they're on a roll right now. They got a big win last week after trailing, um, and then the quarterback just takes me down the field. I think it was in four or five plays, 75 yards. He just. He just marching down the field, um, clutch, ice cold, ice water in his veins. So I'm rolling with the Sean Clears here. I think it'll be another good game. When they played the first time, it was 30 to 27. I can see something like that again this time. I think it's going to be a great game. But I think Coastal Carolina, they're trying to, you know, hopefully get a, get a look from the committee. I doubt it just because they look down on group of five teams to me. So. It is what it is, unfortunately. All right. <clears throat> Next, we have number three, Clemson, playing Notre Dame. Um, I'm rolling with Clemson here. I think they want to get some payback against Notre Dame. We all remember that 47-40 double overtime thriller. Man, that was a great game. Um, I think we're going to have another great game. I think Trevor Lawrence wants a little payback, and him and that senior class, I know they want to go out with another ACC championship. I think this is going to be a great game. I hate it's at 4 o'clock because I feel like this is going to be the best game of the day. Um, but with everything CBS has going on on their network Saturday with college basketball, um, they didn't want to be in like a competition with um, – with the ACC championship game, with the SEC and the ACC. So the ACC just compromised, and they just played at 4 o'clock. It's all good. We're going to get a great game. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm rolling with Clemson, and this one will be taking place at Bank of America Stadium. So, yeah. Next we have Boise State playing San Jose State in uh, Las Vegas. Um, I'm rolling with Boise State here. Um, yeah, I just think Bachmeyer, Shakir, C.T. Thomas, I, I just think Boise State, I think they're going to get it done. And uh, San Jose State, they've been having a great year. they have I don't think they've ever been this good. Uh, they're 6-0, and coming off a big win against Nevada last week. Um, but I just think Boise State's a better team, but they're going to show it, and it should be a great game in Vegas. So, yeah. Let's see what we got next. Okay, so next we have Number one, Alabama playing number seven, Florida from the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. It is sweet. I'll show y'all the picture, but you need to see how sweet that stadium is. Um, but I'm rolling with Bama. Just too much firepower on offense. Uh, they can run the ball on you with Najee Harris, uh, Devontae Smith, um, and those receivers that they have. And... <laughs> I think this could be an offensive showcase, really, um, because Florida, you know, they have Pitts, Trask. Prior to last week, he was balling. Uh, Tony, you know, they just, both teams just have a lot of firepower on offense, so this could be a shootout. 
But I'm rolling with Bama and Saban. You know, they got too much on the line in this game. So I know they don't want to lose it um, by losing to Florida, who I don't think should be ranked number seven after they lost to LSU, who have been playing really bad this year, hadn't looked great. So, yeah, I think that's just the committee playing favorites. But it is what it is. And the last conference championship is number 23 Tulsa visiting number nine Cincinnati. I'm rolling with Cincinnati here. I know they're ticked off with the disrespect from the committee, and I think they're just going to try to make a statement and show the committee that they should get a little more respect. So I'm rolling with Cincinnati there. Um, that could be a, that's going to be a great game in prime time. I love the group of five teams getting some shine in prime time. So. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, jump to the NFL. Um, we got uh, 16 games to get to. So let's uh, let me try to get it to scroll down. So tonight we have the Los Angeles Chargers visiting the LA Rams. I mean, the LA Chargers. I mean, excuse me. We have the Los Angeles Chargers visiting the Las Vegas Raiders. Sorry about that. Um, I'm rolling with the Raiders. They suffered a huge blow to their playoff chances last week by not beating the Colts. Now they're going to need to win out, get some help, hope some teams in front of them lose. And, yeah, now you got to depend on other teams to, you know, fall apart. You could have handled your business and not had to depend on other people, but they do, so they definitely need this win over a Chargers team that's not that great. Um, so, yeah, I'm rolling with the Raiders tonight at home on Thursday Night Football. Next, we have a Saturday doubleheader. I'll be honest here. I, I I thought we would get some better better games for our Saturday doubleheader, but we never know. These may be some good games. But first, we have Buffalo visiting Mile High um, Stadium in Denver as they take on the Denver Broncos. I'm rolling with Buffalo here. Um, if they win this game, they'll win the AFC East for the first time since 1995. And uh, I just trust Josh Allen. I think he's gonna have a great game. And uh, I think they'll be able to clinch the AFC East for the first time since 1995. So I'm happy for them. Also, a little side note, this is the first time since 1995 that the Dolphins and the Bills have had a winning record. That is amazing. Wow. I can't believe it's been that long since both of them have had a winning record in the same season. So, yeah, I'm rolling with Buffalo. I think they go ahead and wrap up this division. And uh, I wouldn't say chill because, you know, they could get that number two spot if um, the Steelers drop another game and they went out. So they still have a lot to play for, and I think they're going to win this week. So, yeah. Um, next, we have the Carolina Panthers visiting the Green Bay Packers. I'm taking the Packers here. They're battling with the Saints for that number one seed. I think it could be huge if the Packers get that number one seed, having everybody having to come to Green Bay. In, the, in early January, you know, you, the weather's going to be cold. It's going to be cold up there. You may have some snow. So I think it's huge for the Packers to keep playing good. They have the tiebreaker over um, the Saints because they beat them early in the season. So I think they keep winning just for the simple fact they want to keep that number one seed and have everybody come to Green Bay and play in those miserable conditions so, I'm rolling with Green Bay. Um, next, to start our Sunday slate, we have the Tampa Bay Bucks visiting the Atlanta Falcons. I took the Bucks here. They're trying to, you know, secure a wild card spot. Um, they need a little help to do that this week. Um, but I think they're going to win just so they can keep their wild card spot and just get closer and closer to clinching. So, I'm rolling with the Bucks here. This could be an offensive an uh, offensive game here because both teams have a lot of weapons. And, um, yeah, I could see this being high scoring or maybe low scoring, but I think the Bucks win. Next, we have the San Francisco 49ers visiting the Dallas Cowboys. I took the Cowboys here. It's being reported Kittle could come back Sunday. But the Cowboys, they need a win out. They need the Giants to lose two of their last three. If you look at the Giants' schedule, they have the Browns this week on, on Sunday Night Football. Baltimore next week, and then they play the Cowboys to close the season. Um, so, I could see them losing two out of three of the Giants, but the Cowboys need to win out and hope 
the red, the Washington football team loses out. That looks like it's going to be a stretch, but they need to handle their business. So I'm taking the Cowboys here. I think it'll be a great game. Um, this got flexed out from Sunday Night Football because, you know, both teams aren't playing really good this year. The 49ers have had a lot of injuries, um, and the Cowboys just have had, dealt with a lot of injuries and a lot of key positions. Um, so I'm rolling with the Cowboys here because they really, really need this win at home. They can't afford to lose. All right, let's scroll down. Next, we have the Detroit Lions visiting the Tennessee Titans. I'm rolling with the Titans here. They need this win. They can't afford to take any steps back. Um, against the Lions team, who's been playing competitive, but I just think the Titans are the better team. They're going to feed Derrick Henry. I expect him to have another big day. Um, and, yeah, I just think the Titans are the better team here. They're at home, and I think they're going to play good and get closer and closer to clinching that division. Next, we have the Houston Texans visiting the Indianapolis Colts. Um, I'm taking the Colts here. Um, the Texans are just really bad. I was disappointed in them last week. Um, losing to the Bears like they did. They just didn't come out focused. Look like they didn't want to be there. So I'm taking the Colts here. Uh, they basically need a win out to clinch a wild card spot. So I think they'll win this game. And we'll see if they're able to win out. Um, so next we have the New England Patriots visiting the Miami Dolphins. I took the Dolphins here because they also need to win out if they want to get a wild card spot. You don't want to have to depend on other people. The Patriots, they're in that spot where um, they need a lot of help to make the playoffs. I think they're pretty much done. Um, wasn't it? Wasn't didn't like what I saw on Thursday Night Football against the Rams, um, but. I think the Dolphins win here. It got a little heated the last time they played. <laughs> the Dolphins' defensive players tried to take Cam's chain, <laughs> and Cam said they almost made that College Park Cam come out. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I think this would be a great game. Um, the Patriots are trying to make it ugly because that's the only way they can win. Um, but I just think the Dolphins really need this win more than the Patriots because the Patriots are just done to me. So, yeah, I'm going to roll with the Dolphins. Uh, next, we have the Chicago Bears uh, visiting the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, I'm, I'm taking the Vikings here. Um, the Bears have been playing much better since Mitchell Trubisky took back over. Um, but if Dan Bailey does not get in the way, I think the Vikings will win. Feed Dalvin Cook um, and get it to Thielen and Jefferson. And, um, yeah, I and I think uh, the Vikings will win this one. They need this one. Uh, they're in the hunt for the wild card for the wild card spot. They'll need some help, but um, I think uh, the Vikings will win this one for sure. So yeah. So next we have the Seattle Seahawks visiting the Washington Football Team. So Seattle, I think they're gonna win this game. I was a little off with the Russell Wilson bowl prediction last week. He didn't throw for 300 yards or five touchdowns, but he did look good. He had four touchdowns. I got that one wrong. I'll admit that. Um, but I think the Seattle wins. I think Washington's defensive line can get after Russell Wilson. I think they can make it difficult for him. But I think Seattle wins this game. It'll be close because Washington's defense will keep him in it. They're very good. Um, but I just think uh, Seattle wins this one. And, uh, yeah, next we have the Jacksonville, uh, yeah, Jacksonville Jaguars visiting the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore is going to win. They can't afford to lose this game because they need a win out and they need a lot of help to get in the playoffs. Um, Lamar is playing much better since he came back off COVID. Um, and I just think they're going to win this game because they need to win this game. You know, they can't afford to, you know, lose to a team that's tanking for a quarterback. Uh, Gardner Minshew is supposed to come back this week, but I don't know how much that'll help. Um, we shall see. Um, I think we got Jets Rams next. Let's see. Yeah, Jets Rams is next. Um, so the New York Jets are visiting the Los Angeles Rams. I'm taking the Rams here. The Jets, they've been playing much better lately, but uh, 
the Rams are just too good on defense and on offense. They just got too much firepower. I think the Ram I mean the Jets are gonna lose another game. And uh yeah, the Rams are battling with the um Seahawks for that NFC West division title. I think they meet in week. 16 or 17 and I think that'll be for the division so yeah I'm rolling with um the Rams here in this game oh excuse me <clears throat> next we have the Philadelphia Eagles visiting the Arizona Cardinals I'm taking the Cardinals here um Philly had a a miracle win last week. I don't know how they beat the Saints. I think the Saints came in smelling themselves a little too much. And Philly humbled them. Um, so, yeah, Philly, I, I had the Saints over them in my lock of the week. I'm going to go with Arizona over Philly in my lock of the week this week. I think Kyle Murray and and them, they they need a big another big win to um, help get that wild card spot. So I don't think they can afford to lose this game. So I'm locking them in as my lock of the week. Doom, doom. Um, so next we have the Kansas City Chiefs visiting the New Orleans Saints. I'm taking the Chiefs here. Um, I just think Patrick Mahomes and them, they're trying to lock up that number one seed, have everybody in the AFC come through KFC. K I mean, KFC, Kansas City um, <laughs> for the um, – <laughs> For the uh, to try to get to the Super Bowl, and I think they'll do that. But um, I think they'll win this week. I think it should be a great game. It could be an offensive shootout. Um, but uh, I just think the Chiefs are the better team, and I think they get a bigger road win at the Saints, who are coming off a bad loss um, against Philly. Whereas I don't don't know what they were thinking. Uh, this is where my bold prediction comes in. I think Mahomes will throw for at least three fifty. And uh, he'll throw for four touchdowns. That's my bold prediction for this game. And they'll win. So, yeah, that's my bold prediction. Uh, we'll see how I do next week. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So, next we have the Cleveland Browns visiting the New York Giants. Um, I'm taking Cleveland here. Uh, they need a win out to get the wild card spot. Um, they're playing really well. Um, they're coming off a heartbreaking loss to the, ooh, excuse me, to the um, Ravens in a Monday night thriller. I really enjoyed that game, um, but I just think the Browns win this game. I think Kareem Hunt and uh, Nick Chubb are just going, you know, dominate the game. Each of them go over 100 yards, and I think they get a big win on the road against the Giants, who. Shouldn't have played uh, Daniel Jones last week. He didn't look right. Couldn't move. I think he should have sat on the sideline. They would have had a better chance. But I'm taking the Browns here. And then finally, um, I'm taking the, excuse me, the Pittsburgh Steelers visit the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, I'm taking the Steelers here. The Bengals are really bad. Um and the Steelers, they're coming off two straight losses. Uh, I think they get their mojo back this week. And I think they get a big win for their confidence because they've looked really bad lately. And, uh, yeah, I just don't think the Steelers can afford to lose this game um, because they're reeling. And a, another loss would potentially drop them to the third spot because Buffalo has a tiebreaker. Hopefully, Juju doesn't dance on anybody's logo, get anybody fired up any more than they already are. So, yeah, I'm rolling with the Steelers here. And, hold on, I need to get an upset of the week. Let's see, what game am I going to pick for my upset of the week? Uh, I guess my upset of the week would be the Vikings over the Bears. I, I would say because the Bears have been playing better, I don't really know if that's an upset, but I'm going to roll with it. I just think the Vikings need that, like I said earlier, the Vikings need that game. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope I do better than I did last week. Uh, went 8-7 and seven in the NFL picks, 2-0 and oh in college. So we'll see how I do next week. Um, thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate all the support. Um, and I'll be back next week for a special Christmas edition of Keith's Hot, Keith's Hot Takes. And I'll see you all next week. Peace.